Hey, what up, America? This is your boy, Bouchon Glover, with a Better Black America TV, uh, with a Better Black America, uh, ABBA, and SEDCA, Social Economic Development Coalition of America, and we'll get into that. But we have to set the premise on the fate of black America. Now, based on what's going on in the world today, uh, there's a lot going on politically, and we have not organized politically. Now, the Democratic Party is no longer a safe haven for us. Uh, if you don't know, we used to be Republicans, and a lot of people uh, attribute that to Abraham Lincoln um, uh, abolishing slavery along with Frederick Douglass, to name a few. But uh, in 1964, some things happened, and there were some things that happened that uh, is motivating this reaction, because uh, Generation X uh, which is the Christmas tree light that's faulty, that will not illuminate the entire tree unless Generation X fixes its bulb. And I'm saying that to say this because, you know, it's clear uh, based on the data and based on the information that uh, Generation X was skipped. OK, then they pushed that Pepsi generation and now we got the millennials. But we have to build that bridge between Generation X and um uh, the Generation X, next, and the Millennials, because baby boomers, you know, they they on the backside of, of everything, and you know, they 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 are beginning to be dreamers. You know, like the Bible says, old men will dream dreams, young men will have vision. So, while I'm still having vision at 47 years old, you know, some people maybe twice my age, or you know, or old enough to be my father. I can understand how they just have vision. So that's all they know. That's all they've experienced. But based on Hillary Clinton losing the election and we have Donald J. Trump running the, uh, the country at this time as president. Now, politically, uh, we, 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 we don't have any political power. But today, uh, we're going to uh, start... Uh, the groundbreaking of establishing ourselves politically. And I have to go on record for this because we know how people are. There's opportunists out there that's rich and wealthy people uh, who want to control the narrative on both sides and, 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 you know, and just be one of those devil's advocates to stop the growth and the progress of, of some chosen people. Now, um, it's, it's, not a, it's not a race war or anything like that. It's just the fact that blacks, we don't have any having an identity and our identity is consumers our identities is con consumption uh, our identity is job seekers our identity has become to beg just like the Monique situation in Saga she, she didn't get the number so she wants to claim racism and all that but that's what everybody else do but what we're going to do is we're going to organize politically and I downloaded the uh, PDF for the uh, Black Panthers 10 point system, which we're going to subtract that down to five. And just to name a few, just two. Now, two, one was to abolish um, police brutality. And how can we do that? I'm going to help you politicians out. How we can do that is to require body cams to be state and federal law. That's one of the things on, on, on our agenda because we want to abolish police brutality and have a independent body uh, to basically use the footage as for training, corrective action, etc. OK, now I'm going on record with this. So we, we know, you know, I probably don't get any credit, which I'm not seeking that. I just want to throw this into the atmosphere so we can see that change, you know, because I, I'd rather say I told you so than benefit from it, because at the end of the day, we have to organize, okay? Because uh, our, our brother Barack Obama required us to do so. And I, I heard him say it myself. He, he said, if you have a problem with what's going on in the world today, he said, organize like he did. And if uh, you have to build coalitions. So that's where SECA came in. Social Economic Development Coalition of America, SEDCA, and it's a for-profit and we got stocks, we're going to be sharing it, you know, we're going to just control 51%, but we're pretty much going to uh, try to make this a, a financial uh, renaissance type movement because it's time to start teaching financial literacy, it's time to understand our money, and it's time to start um, 
the era of black money working for us because when your money works for you you don't go looking for a job or beg for jobs or anything like that we can actually you know basically say we made one dollar and get those tax breaks just like everybody else i don't know why we tr why we're not trying to join them but we're trying to act like you know this is something that we can't do so it's not morning but it's, it's still a coffee time But <clears throat> so it's time to organize politically and this is how we're going to do this. And it could be by force and, and, and it has to be by force in our community, like our children. Our children can no longer register as Democrats or Republican. They need to register as no party preference voters. You see that right there? Hope you can see that. All right. Now, to the left of that, you got the American Independent Party, the Democratic Party, Green Party, Libertarian Party, Peace and Freedom Party, Republican Party, and it says other. But just to the right of that, and it's to the just to the right of that is it says no. It says no. I do not want to disclose a political party preference. So we're going to go under the slogan: No party preference voters, and and it's going to trend. And it's going to take time. So at the 18th birthday or when our children, or our grandchildren are registering for the selective services, you know, for Pell Grants, for scholarships, things like that, they have to register. OK, but they cannot. And usually we're forced to register as Democrats. And I know Puffy, you know, when he was saying vote or die, vote or die was uh, orchestrated by the KKK and force black people to vote Democratic in the South. So we got to know our history. OK, we have to have to know our history. And that's how we ended up flipping back in the day. But we have to uh, create our own lane because neither party supports us because Hillary Clinton, she basically, you know, put the death nail in the Democratic Party when she went out and basically um, ran a feminist movement. You know, when they asked her, well, she's a, a feminist. Damn right. I'm a feminist. I fight for women and girls. But then you add dreamers and then you add immigrants. You know, what does men and more importantly, what, where do black men uh, fit? The only way a black man would fit if he's a the fem female aspect of a relationship and he's supporting his wife. OK, that's the only way be, because the Democratic Party is dead and in the water. OK, so uh, one thing that 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 the reason why we cannot be a part of the Democratic Party, is because the Democratic Party by the Republicans have been. Uh, called the Antichrist Party, okay? And I don't want to debate about that, but we just don't want to be guilty by association. So we're going to re-register as no party preference voters. It had nothing to do with your your gender, sexual preference, or anything like that, okay? It's pretty much an independent. Michael Bloomberg is an independent, the uh, mayor of New York. Donald Trump is a president of the United States, and he's registered as a no party preference voter, okay? So we have to get out of this uh, habitual this 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 cycle of stupidity okay neither of the parties is for us or are for us okay the two-party system is a two-headed serpent that the bible talks about okay and as godly people as sovereign people we as blacks and all oppressed people all people who feel the same way we can organize outside of that two-party system because there's no way it's controlled by the special interests it's controlled by you know very powerful people that we don't know nothing about and if we know something about them they're probably getting fired because they work for trump <laughs> that's a joke but we got to organize politically and i'm gonna go ahead and stop it right there because we got to keep the party going so we're going to organize politically as no party preference voters so just imagine 10, 15, 20 years of our children and our children's children never registering as a Democrat, number one, or Republican, and just see how much power we'll have down the road. We can actually leave them an inheritance of the land because a good man leaves his children's children an inheritance, and it might not just be monetarily. So I'm just saying. So go re register. There's no party preference voter, and uh, we'll be having. Uh, we'll give you the instructions after that, but we have to organize politically and the establishment, which is Republican and Democrat, is no room for us there. But we can basically uh, divide and conquer and rule down the road. But it's going to be, you know, something that we got to believe in and something that we got to, you know, see how it works out. So please consider it. 
um, let's let's talk about it. You could put uh, place your comments or concerns because, you know, there's pros and cons to everything. So let's pretty much uh, peel the layers back and see if it's in our best interest because we have no power. All right. So let's do that. So with that being said, man, you guys have a good day. And uh, today is uh, let me see here. That's crazy. Since I've been out of corporate America, I don't even be knowing what the, what's the dates and times sometimes, which is OK. So today is Wednesday. OK, this video will probably get posted after because I'm pre-recording it. So the streaming could be perfect. So it's uh, uh, March 21st, 2017. And uh, I'll be posting this video on YouTube and we'll be talking to y'all later. No party preference. All right, Tretch. Hey, I'm going to need you for that. So when you that, you down with OPP? We need to remix. You down with MPP? Yeah, you know me. Peace out. You have a good day. No party practice. Peace out.